how to get your logo designed. I got a great question from one of my YouTube viewers, a loyal YouTube viewer, Mo. Thank you, Mo, for writing in. Evan, I need help designing a logo as well as specific artwork to be displayed on t-shirts. Okay, so if you're just getting started, you need a logo for your company, for your brand, for your t-shirts, whatever it is. I have three main ways, and these are, these are ways that I use to get artwork for my business, okay? The first one is, there's a website called 99designs. And 99designs is a crowdsourcing website where basically you write in and you say, I want a logo design, here's my budget. I think logos start around $200, and people from around the world will bid on it to create the logo for you. And what I love about this is, you can input whatever design thoughts you have, okay? So you, if you want a unicorn in there, if you want a baseball player in there, whatever it is, give them some kind of guidance as best as you can. You only pay if you end up with a winning design. So the challenge of, of working with typical designers is you don't know what they're gonna make for you. You've seen what they've done in the past, but you don't know what's gonna work for you. We're with 99designs, it's 99designs.com, you, only pay if you end up with the final design that you actually like. Now I've always looked at the designs and loved at least one of them. What, what happens here in the process is the designers will submit the designs. You can look at them, give feedback. You can say, I like that, but make the unicorn orange. You can give some, some tips and they'll fix it. Once you have all the entries in, you can even send it out to your friends and say, here are the, the submitted ones, what do you think, who should win, and you pick a winning design. So I, I love that process. Another way that I've hired people is through a website called Odesk. And I've hired a number of people on Odesk for a lot of different, a lot of different tasks. And basically what these people are, are, are your outsourced team of workers. They love what they're doing, they're entrepreneurial, and you have people who are graphic designers who will want to work on your projects. You put in a bid, you put in an offer, say here's my job, uh, it could be a fixed rate or it could be somebody ongoing, and people will submit and, and they'll see, you'll see what their applications are, what they've done in the past, and you can hire them on a test project or hire multiple people. What I like Odesk over 99designs is if you want somebody who will be a part of your team ongoing. So 99designs is I want one thing, one off, here it is. But if you want somebody to be part of your team and you want that same look and feel, because with 99designs, each time it's somebody else who's gonna be bidding on it. So you won't get that same feel to it, right? If you want an, a design that is, has the kind of same feeling to it each time you make it, uh, or each different t-shirt design you're doing, then you want somebody on your team. Uh, so that's where Odesk could be really great. The third option is look to your network. Look to your network and see who you know. Start telling people, hey, I'm looking for somebody to help me with a logo design. And if you start talking to people and, and let them know what you need, they're gonna find ways to help you. You think about companies like Nike, you think about the swoosh, right? The, one of the most iconic logos in the world. That was created by a University of Oregon student for I think 45 bucks, something like that. And Phil Knight just went to one of the students at the university and got it designed for him. So you can look to your own network of people as well and if they understand your concept and your passion and your excitement, they might be able to work with you longer term beyond just this one project as well. So those are three options for you, Mo. Great question, thank you for writing in. Again, to summarize, one, if you need a one-off design, go to 99designs. If you want to hire somebody remotely on an ongoing basis potentially, look to Odesk. And if you want somebody local who you can connect with and share your ideas with, who again can be hopefully part of your team ongoing, then look to your network and start asking people and let them know what you need. Three steps to get your logo done, believe. For those of you watching this video, you like it, please give it a thumbs up below and I'll make more for you. You have a comment, you have a question about your business, leave it below in the comment section, I'll make a video response. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers.